All right, legends, welcome back. Okay, so now that we're somewhat familiar with JavaScript, we know about variables, we know about functions, uh, if-else statements, event handlers, yada, yada. Now I want to talk about something that is extremely important in any programming language. And what that is, is arrays. Arrays are just like variables, except they can hold more than one value. You could have your whole database. Say you owned a gym, 24-hour fitness gym, and you wanted to sort all of your members that were getting entered into your database alphabetically. Well, you could do that in one array. So instead of writing a million different variables for each one of those members, we can just create one. So let's go ahead and create an example. We'll talk about create a variable, and I'll call it Village Park in Camel Case. Might as well. I'll get this. I don't know if you guys can see my Twitter, but I'm going to close that out. Village Park. Um, okay. And how we call arrays in JavaScript, we need to type new and then array with a capital A. It will not work if you do a lowercase a. A-R-R-A-Y. A-R-R-A-Y. That's correct. And inside here, we could have uh, integers. We could have Boolean. We could have um, strings. So let's kind of just mix it up. I'll go ahead and type 15. And I'll type becoming a legend. And let's give it another number, maybe 34 for the great Walter Payton, and then we'll just call it hello. Hello with uh, with an O, not a zero. Okay, so here's our array. We have one variable, but it's set to one, two, three, four values. And remember, with computer programming, computers count starting at zero. Humans count starting at one. So this is zero, this is one, this is two, and this is three. Say we have this giant array right here, but we only want to index becoming a legend. Well, we know that this is 1 in the array because it starts at 0 and works its way up to infinity. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's go ahead and output this. Document writes. And let's add our variable, village park. So to index a value in an array, we don't use parentheses again, we don't use curly braces, what we use is brackets. So for becoming a legend, that's one. Let's close this beast out, let's give it a semicolon, save it, now let's reload it in our browser. There it is, becoming a legend. Okay, perfect. So say that we wanted to output hello. Well, if this is one, this is two, and this is obviously three. So if we hit three in here, let's save it, now let's reload it. Hello. All right. Perfect. So this is an array, and uh, these are extremely po these are extremely popular as well as powerful. And in the next video, we'll talk about objects, and you'll see hand in hand uh, how they go with uh, very important things we're going to be doing in JavaScript. And keep in mind, we're not really learning like how to build a slideshow right now or how to build a mortgage calculator. We're just learning the fundamentals of JavaScript. So when we are start building those you know, slideshows and sliders and stuff like that, you will see how, you know, the arrays and all the stuff we've been learning will check out. So good luck with this. Hopefully you guys understand what an array is. It's a variable that contains more than one value. And you know how, you know what the correct syntax is. So good luck with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.